explanation we see angles between the ground and the slide the ladder makes an angle with the ground we see angles between the tree trunk and its branches there is an angle between the electric pole and the ground in our surroundings wherever we see two lines meeting there is an angle one different types of angles a right angle b acute angle c an obtuse angle types of angles right angle in the picture alongside there is a right angle between the two blades of the scissors acute angle as we reduce the distance between the tips of the blades little by little the angle between the blades grows smaller than a right angle an angle which is smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle obtuse angle as we increase the distance between the tips of the blades the angle between the blades grows bigger than a right angle an angle that is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Circle Center, radius, diameter, chord Take a small steel bowl, place it upside down on a piece of paper and trace its outline. Remove the bowl. The figure you get on the piece of paper is a circle. Draw two or three circles like this one and cut out the circular paper shapes. Take one of these shapes and fold it as shown in the picture. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a chord of the circle. Now fold another circular shape to divide it into two halves. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. This line is called a diameter of the circle. The diameter too is a chord of the circle. Now fold the shape again so that we get a quarter part of the shape. Unfold the paper shape. Now you see the circular shape again. Trace the lines of the folds. The point at which these lines meet each other is the center of the circle. Name the center of the circle M. Take any paint, P, on the circle. Draw the line MP with your ruler. MP is a radius of the circle. Drawing a circle using a compass. Take a piece of paper. Choose any point near the middle of the paper. Take a suitable distance between the steel tip of the compass and the tip of the pencil. Place the steel tip on the chosen point. Hold it in place and turn the pencil tip around it to trace a circle. Mark with a red pencil. The point at which you held the steel tip. Now cut out the circle. Fold it twice as before to obtain two diameters of the circle. Observe that these two diameters meet at the red point. It means that the red point is the center of the circle. Geometrical figures vertex and side rectangle a rectangle has four edges that is four sides the point where two sides meet is called a vertex in the figure alongside a, a b c and d are the vertices square a square has four vertices and four sides in the figure alongside p m r and S are the vertices of the square. All the sides of a square are of equal length and all its angles are right angles, triangle. A triangle has three vertices and three sides. Y, R and L are the vertices of this triangle. YR, RL and YL are the three sides of the triangle. A triangle has three angles. 